what we have. So here it is, people, worldly sorrow. What does that mean? Worldly sorrow is when we, we do feel bad about something. We feel, oh no, I'm so embarrassed about what I've done. Somebody has caught me out. What will happen if my colleagues, my peers, learn of what I've done? I'll be so embarrassed, I'll be so ashamed. But it does not lead to repentance. Only godly sorrow leads to repentance. So what's the difference? What is godly sorrow? Godly sorrow is when we understand God's point of view on sin and guilt. We come to God and we say, God, I have offended you. The Bible says against you and you only have I sinned, Lord. So we need to come to God and confess our sins. And he is faithful. He is just. And he will cleanse you of all unrighteousness. But we need to run toward him, not away from him. How many people run and hide? And that's the devil's trick. You say, don't go near God. God is holy. He's pure. Don't go near him. You've got filth all over you. That is not what it's about. You run toward God and you say, God, I have sinned. I confess my sin. When you confess your sin, you're agreeing with the way you're agreeing with God in the way he sees sin. God hates sin. We need to hate it as well. So we confess our sins and God is just. He will wash your sin away. He will cleanse you of all unrighteousness. He will give you peace and joy back again. It's not a free-for-all. It's not a, oh, I'll go back next week and I'll confess my sins and then I'll go and do it again and I'll confess them again. He, by His Holy Spirit, sanctifies us, causes us to be renewed in our minds, causes us to see sin as He sees sin, and our life changes. We walk in the Spirit. For those who are led by the Spirit, are the sons of God and the Bible says that those who are born of his spirit set their minds on the things of the spirit those of the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh so when you are of the spirit we set our minds on the things of the spirit and the things of the spirit are mainly concerned with not sinning having the power over sin understanding our identity in Christ Standing on that, Jesus said he was our great high priest. He was tempted in every way that we were yet without sin. He understands us and he's given us a way out in every situation. He's given us a way out so that we might be able to bear it when we are tempted. Re remember that. Ask him for the way out. What is the way out, Lord? I'm feeling great temptation on my life. What is the way out? You promised you'd show me a way out. Reveal it to me, and he will. This is the goodness of our God. We stand fast in our faith toward him because he is our great high priest. And he has given us the ability to come to the very throne of grace. This is what we do. Run toward God with your guilt, with your shame, and say, God, wash me clean. Your grace is enough for me. It's sufficient for me. So there it is, people. Godly sorrow and worldly sorrow are different. Worldly sorrow is embarrassed about what people will think of them. Godly sorrow is, is sorrow that leads to repentance. And the repentance is turning away. The word repent. Re means again. Pent means like a penthouse, something higher. Go from something lower to something higher. Turn. Turn away from sin and come into godliness. So we, godly sorrow leads to repentance. Worldly sorrow, the Bible said, leads to death. So we as Christians need to engage in godly sorrow. So we are not of those whose consciences are so seared, these brutes of men who do things without even a second thought, or murder someone or kill them or whatever. We are of God. We have godly sorrow that leads to repentance. We come to God who is faithful and just to wash away our sin. But if you are not born again of the Spirit of God today, 
think about this God has on offer to you everlasting life it's for every person who will believe Jesus died for all he justified for all who will believe and if you sense today a conviction in your heart if you feel in your heart there's something missing in your life the answer is Jesus Christ ask him into your life he will wash away your sin he will give you his new life say God I'm sorry for the things I've done fill me with your life heal me wash me clean give me make me new on the inside Lord he will do it for you if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth believe that he rose again that his resurrection was the affirmation by God himself that it was finished everything is done we just need to receive so in Jesus name ask him into your life and in Jesus name we're going to talk with people now one on one asking them to receive Jesus as their saviour Amen 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 Amen